Thank you, Lexi. Mistakes are inevitable in life. No matter how hard we plan or practice, sometimes those mistakes get turned into mountains in our mind. We talk about bloopers in this week's Minute with Drexel. Hey, y'all. Have you ever made a mistake? Whew, I have. In TV Newsland, we sometimes refer to mistakes as bloopers, and they usually end up on the blooper reel that is played for your amusement. I've made a few of those blooper reels, like the time that I referred to President Clinton's presidency as his pregnancy or the time that I got caught on live TV running a microphone cable up the front of my dress, which was hiked really high. That was embarrassing. And the time that I got the hiccups on the air. You know, bloopers happen everywhere, on TV and in life. And when we make mistakes, especially in life, we tend to, like the blooper reel, play them over and over and over in our minds. We're so embarrassed, we keep thinking about it, and sometimes we're so consumed by our bloopers that we find it hard to move forward. Well, as someone who has made a few bloopers, both on TV and in life, here are three quick things that I've learned about our mistakes. First, God knows all about our failures, and if we will surrender them to Him, He has a marvelous way of setting them right. Second, if we investigate why we made the mistake in the first place and look for ways to keep those mistakes from happening again, our bloopers become opportunities for growth. And lastly, in life, our bloopers are not often funny like the ones we see on TV. But there are other times, I think, when we should take our mistakes, laugh them off, and just move forward. We've often been told that humor is a great healer. Hey, see you on the blooper reel. And that's your Minute with Drexel.